extras. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the mesh and appearance palette. Now, one thing you can't do, unfortunately, is combine multiple meshes in the appearance palette, but you can combine the mesh with additional fills, and that's basically what I'm just going to do. Now, if you actually select the mesh and select individual parts of the mesh, you can't, unfortunately, add a fill to one little particular reason, region. That would be nice, of course, but you can add a new fill here. So I'm just going to add a new fill. Of course, that just completely wipes out the mesh. You don't have to go with that color. You can obviously just turn it to, but the key thing here is you can go to the opacity and you can just go to normal and then maybe select difference. So straight away, you've got really unusual color schemes for your graded mesh. You don't have to stop there either. So you can actually go now to fill and add new fill. And then you can select, say, a gradient over the swatches. Of course, you don't have to keep the same gradient as the one here. Modify it. Here's the gradient palette. You can obviously just go to the gradient tool and you can manipulate the gradients. You can put the, but the key thing is the opacity. So just go over there and set that maybe to overlay or lighten. And you can still see the mesh or go for difference, which is probably the most extreme of the color effects. So now I can just reposition that and so on and so on. So that's a quick way of adding additional color effects to a wonderful gradient mesh in Illustrator. I hope you found this tutorial.